Well, gosh, after an introduction like that, I'm actually, I'm already kind of nervous. I mean, I, I had an idea to come up here and do something a, a little personal, if you guys could come with me on the ride. Can we do, can we do that? Can we do that? All right. I'm, I'm even going to, I'm even going to go unofficial on this in case I really screw it up. Hats off. Here we go. I, I'm nervous because I want to share sort of a, a, a personal experience. I want to share actually what is actually a spiritual experience I have. I'm not known for being that kind of guy, but I had one and I thought I had to bring it here. I found myself last week, I had this empty space inside me. It needed fulfillment. It was just this empty space and I wanted it to be full of something raw and alive. And so I went to a salad bar. And while I was there, I had a completely chance meeting with a Zen master. I knew he was a Zen master. I came walking towards him with my tray. I'm not proud, it was just a salad bar. And he looked at me and, and you know, he had that round face and he had those, those, those wise eyes. I mean, he was maybe four, maybe five. <laughs> and he nodded and his head went back and the lesson began. He made a sound. I, I, I don't really have the vocal apparatus to make this sound for you tonight. I, I'm just not equipped for it. And it was a huge sound. So I can't exactly tell you what it was like. I can almost just tell you what it wasn't. It wasn't particularly joyous. I mean, don't get me wrong. It wasn't despondent. It wasn't angry. And it wasn't agonizing and whining about its existence either. It was not atonal but there is no musical theorist alive or dead, not even the late, great, and mysteriously disappeared Eric Zahn, who could tell you it was in any way, in any way, on key. It was a keening, it was a keening, a voice as if this child had reached down inside himself to the primordial ooze, grabbed a chord, picked up, his Winnie the Pooh rattle and smashed it against it and the sound rang out up his ribcage, up his underoos and out his Fisher Price Tibetan monk throat to say, hey, universe and all you fuckers in this salad bar, I am right here. Just saying. <laughs> and so I found myself face to face with a nuclear blast of enlightenment. It hit me so hard that it blew out the sides and there was fallout. There were innocent bystanders affected by the lesson that was given to me. And I watched her mother stand. I watched his mother stand in a practice motion. I'm a juggler. I know all about practice motion. I know you have to do something a thousand times, times a thousand times in order to make it look graceful. She had done what she was about to do many times. And she began her ritual as she walked in a circle around and apologized for the interruption. <laughs> I stopped and I realized I had to show the baby Buddha that I understood the message. And I reached down deep inside of me. I reached all the way to the core of everything that is good in my life. And as I touched down, I found my hand touching the stage. And so I gathered up every good poet's word I ever heard. And I put it here and I took it back to her because I'm a time traveler and I could damn well do that when I need to. And as she walked up to me, I held up my hand. I held up my hand and said, wait, don't apologize to me. You have got to understand something. I spend every day trying to teach people how to be brave. I spend every day trying to teach people how to be bold. I spend every day trying to help people be beautiful. And you gave me the day off by teaching your child not to be shy, quiet, or reserved. I said, thank you. Now I get to go play because I got the day off. I made a vow at that point that I would come back here tonight as shaky as I am and I would try to share this lesson with you. I mentioned before I don't have the vocal apparatus to throw it at you. So I need your help. I need to get inside your head. I need permission. I need you to turn off the right protect tab on that miraculous neural network you call an intellect. I need you to let me have permission to hack your mind. I want to download a simple six word software patch and I want it to stick. Here goes. Make some noise in this silence. Thank you.
Let the games begin! Welcome to the open stage! Yeah.